Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This Muay Thai Jiu-Jitsu style fighter stands five foot eight. He weighed in 145.6 pounds. He holds a professional record, seven wins, three defeats, with six wins coming by way of knockout, one via submission. Training out of Maraha Brothers and Jackson Wink MMA, fighting out of Sare Brazil, Toninho Maraha. His opponent across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner, is a wrestler, Muay Thai style fighter, standing 5 foot 11. He weighed in 144.2 pounds. He holds a professional record, five wins, one defeat with two wins, coming by way of submission. Training out of Elevation Fight Team and fighting out of Aurora, Colorado, Corey Sanhagen. Your referee in charge of the action, Ryan Brueggemann. Guys, we went over your instructions in the back. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves now if you wish. Come on, swing it. Both of these guys look super intense. Both of them look right. I'm excited to see this one. Yeah, the Brazilian is a finishing machine looking to build off his successful Ready? LFA debut Ready. back Let's in fight. May. That was LFA 11. And Sandhagen looking to rebound his first professional defeat. It went down at LFA 5 in February. Sandhagen said he took away, hey, he needed to work on his mental game. He's now working with a sports psychologist. He said he just didn't show up that night. It happens, right? It happens. It's word on the street. <laughs> um, uh, something you'll notice that's incredible to watch in Corey is that he, he fights to his own cadence. Uh, he, he's looking for a rhythm, but the rhythm is off beat and it's intentional and it's, it's very wild and it's very powerful. Sandhagen, a leadoff fighter. Maraha is a guy that likes to counter, so Sandhagen has got to be careful not to play into his game. Oh boy. Yeah. Just missed, and Sandhagen comes back with a flying knee. Nasty low kick from the Brazilian. And Sandhagen gets through the garden. Well, he threw the jab, floated off to the right, and then came back with that beautiful uppercut. That's that footwork being very, very active. And just like his footwork, just like his stand-up, it's, it's about coming in, coming out, staying on the pressure, making somebody constantly adjust to you and react to you. It's a, it's a, it's a very difficult style to deal with. Sandhagen, a purple belt in BJJ, amateur world kickboxing champ and Muay Thai state champion. Nice, he tried to feed that high kick after the hook. Very tricky. I know Corey has been all over the world doing Muay Thai and uh, you know I know right now um, he, his, his focus is MMA. Yeah, appreciated his honesty about that first defeat. Just said, no, nope, mentally I wasn't there. He does have a bachelor's degree in psychology from the University of Colorado, so it made sense that he would hire a sports psychologist, understands the mental game. Sandhagen really being accurate with his shots here. Being very selective, set things up nicely. He's like, go ahead, kick me right now. Beautiful. Peekaboo jab, disappears, and then comes back with the cross. Raha coming off a TKO win over Mike Hamill at LFA 11 in May. Two fight winning streak. Both victories coming by way of TKO and knockout. Sandhagen. Throwing some leather here in the first. And I appreciate him showing how he's got his mind right, but oh, there is goodness. some damage that comes from. Uh, he's hurt him with the body shots. He's toast. And that's going to do it. Corey Sandhagen destroys the body of Maraha and Katzengano here, cage side applauding. Picked him apart. Am I allowed to do that? Yeah, well, I'm gonna not. do it anyway. I'm gonna yes. do it anyway. You can find me. Yeah. You can you can send send me the bill. <laughs> oh man. Tokino down on the canvas. San Hagen, fun to watch, man. Wow. Yeah, he came out with something to prove. There is a pool of blood 
on the octagon canvas. He's cut open, his nose is bleeding, and his liver's hurt. Wow. David Maldonado going to work. Actually, he just ran out of the octagon to get some more gauze. Check out Watch the this. Going high with the jab, low kick. He hit him with the body shot, then the low kick. There's the second low, or a body shot. And Marajo is done. Beautiful. That actually was to the solar plexus. Hurts just as bad if you catch it right. And that's what opened Accurate up the shot. nose. Nice, he faints the jab upstairs, then goes to the body. Super pumped is the 25-year-old Corey Sandhagen. Sandhagen starts a new winning streak here tonight in the desert. Nasty cut. He got that while he was on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, he was not bleeding from when he went down from the body shot. It was the shot following that. And the Elevation Fight Team member, Corey Sandhagen, improves to six and one. Nice show of sportsmanship in the center of the LFA octagon. And now let's make it official. Here's Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Ryan Brookerman calls a stop to the fight in three minutes of the very first round for your winner by knockout, Corey Sandhagen. Corey Sandhagen gets another victory, and he is now standing by his teammate, Kat Zingano. You admittingly said that you needed to work on some of your head game. I would say tonight, you, you got it done. Your corners are over here saying that you're probably only even 50%, so what's that mean for your future? Um, I mean, there's no shame in admitting that you need help with your head, you know? Like, this game is super tough on you mentally. Not even in the fight, you touch gloves, it's easy, you know? But getting to that fight is tough. I was having a problem with that. I've been seeing my sports psychologist, Joey. I've been working with a lot of people, talking to Christian. And you know, I'm just blessed, man. I'm so, just so blessed, dude. Yes. But you turned it up. You look so comfortable. You're in here dancing. You're in here showboating. Like, yeah. you just wanted to come and steal the show. And I felt like you did whatever you wanted right now. I was just doing whatever I wanted. I was just having fun. Just having fun. Well, congratulations. Good job. <laughs> Corey Sandhagen, fellas. 25-year-old from Aurora, Colorado. Corey Sandhagen improves to a uh, six and one, standing there with head coach Elliot Marshall and Christian Allen. Big win for the young man.